popping, was 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 I gotta say before this video starts that I'm so grateful to y'all and thank you so much for being a part of my journey in the Manly Army. All the support y'all show me daily is like greatly appreciated and I love you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for being here with me y'all. And um, I welcome you into my home. We in my kitchen today. Um, I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all how to hook up gourmet meals. So if you like to eat, if you are an inspiring chef if you're just somebody that, you know, likes to watch, uh, you know, good food get cooked and hear sizzling sounds and such. You're going to enjoy this video. <laughs> but um, uh, again, I love you so much and um, I hope you enjoy the cooking. Um, I learned how to cook from my dad <laughs> when I was younger and um, I say he taught me pretty well, you know. We're gonna be using these sorts of utensils today, so might as well get straight into it. Welcome to the ASMR kitchen. I'm Chef Yashua, aka Nami ASMR. See the reflection of my shorts in this knife. I got an American flag shorts. <laughs> Check it out. Okay, let's get started. So we got the seasonings. I'm gonna adjust the camera a little bit for y'all so you can see everything. Okay. Okay, so we got our seasonings over here. I'm a big spice man. <laughs> Gotta have the spices together. What else are you doing with your food if not? I got my veggies right here. So, these are green pepper, orange pepper, and this is a red pepper. I love vegetables. I'm going to show y'all, I'm gonna make a lot. You can see, you know, I might have other veggies and stuff too, but I'm gonna show y'all how I meal prep basically. And hopefully it'll give y'all like some ideas on some cool stuff that you could try for yourself. Some alternatives if you're looking to eat a little bit healthier, greener. Um, you can do it for you too. So. so. Maybe I'll eat it with y'all, you know? Those are the peppers. Got the zucchini. Sounds nice. That's how you do it, you gotta switch it up. Speed it up, slow it up. <laughs> Speed it up, slow it up. <laughs> this is uh, collard. I like to switch it up between like collard, kale, spinach. Anything leafy and green is um, really, really good for you. Actually, provably for the human body, green leafy things are the best things to eat. You can look it up, it's fine. So 
So we're gonna get some of this goodness in our lives. today um i actually got into a car accident earlier today see my arms all scraped up and stuff i got dinged on the side of the head a little bit it's all good i'm okay my car is totally fucking wrecked totally totaled but i'm here i'm alive i'm blessed i'm healthy it could have been much worse my car is wrecked, but I have insurance, luckily, and I wasn't in the wrong. I got hit in the back, so it'll work out, you know, on its own by itself, and um, I'm just extremely grateful to be here, <laughs> and so I decided to come on here and make a meal with y'all and share with some people that I love and appreciate, so let's eat, you know, fuck all the bull stuff, you know, even people hit me with cars, it's all good, you know. Cause I'm a warrior, you feel me? Warrior, you feel me? Can't nothing stop me. Can't nothing stop me. Can't nothing stop me. <laughs> Y'all know I'm silly. I can't help. Okay. So I'm gonna adjust the camera a little bit so y'all can see the veggies. Show you a cool trick with this onion. Onions make people cry most of the time. It's only because they don't know how to cut it. There's two cool tricks. One. Olive oil. Olive oil on the blade means that I really don't know metabolically how it affects the onion. It makes it not make you cry. <laughs> but it makes it not make you cry. There's also another... Um, trick without even the olive oil that I'm going to show you. And matter of fact, we'll start with the onion because why not? We were just talking about it. And it's a good thing because a lot of people struggle with it when they're cooking. As, as far as trying not to cry, hurt their eyes. Okay, so we need one knife for this. Okay, now here's the other trick. Instead of cutting down the middle the way most people do, you're gonna cut down the middle this way and straight through the eye here, right here, because that's what makes you, that's what bleeds and makes you cry, basically. This thing right here. So we're gonna cut right down the middle of it. Sound, so I'm gonna take it off of here. I had it propped up on my blender because <laughs> I'm tall. I'm tall, see. So like I had, I would have had to bend down too much in order to speak into the microphone and for y'all lovely people to hear me. So now we're gonna hear these wonderful sounds while I cut. Oh dear. 
tears. See? <laughs> no tears. And then, and then you, you, you just leave that intact. And it's okay. And so, like, uh, I'm gonna sheath it. I have a bag for the compost. Over here. to the other side. I cut into the eye slightly. Didn't mean to. See how deep I cut? Look. I cut into the eye. when not supposed to do that. That's okay. These would be some cool, interesting sounds I've never seen anybody do. ASMR cooking. And so I am opening up the ASMR kitchen. And if y'all like it, I'll show you how to cook a whole bunch of different stuff. And it'll be awesome. <laughs> just, just like that. So... Can y'all see that? Everything good? Okay. Matter of fact. Hmm. Hmm. I hope y'all can see that. Bag. So you put all your compost in one bag instead of just straight in the trash can because it decomposes, might attract insects and stuff, all that kind of thing.
Sometimes I feel ASMR works better when you can see the person's face because you can kind of make out what they're saying, you know, sometimes. And I don't know, this is the first time I'm trying this, so maybe if y'all have an idea for me to play with the camera angle a little bit, I can do it better next time. Um, and y'all can just let me know. But right, let's get to this. Back to this. Get rid of this center. Those are seeds. Let's hear that. Ha. That was seed splashing into the sink. Chop it up into small pieces. That way it's gonna mix through the meal really well. Piece is about this big. something to put the stuff on. For those of y'all who are wondering, yes, I am making a little bit of a mess here. <laughs> but it's okay, a little stuff here and there. I can clean it up. It's worth it to show y'all some stuff and share a meal with y'all. Hmm. Starting to get a pretty mix of things already.
green pepper. Green pepper. That sounds so much, I didn't even realize that I did. But I like it. <laughs> oh, I'm just realizing you can't really see the green pepper. Hang on. Has that been the case for the last little bit of time? Y'all couldn't see what I was cutting? I hope not. <laughs> I hope not. my fingers just to break it up. These are interesting sounds. Very fresh. Can you tell how fresh the veggies are? I'm excited. Zucchini. I feel like sauté, except I'm veggie pay. I can get them on the 
I'm going to start the stove now. Um, cook on this eye right here. It's going to get really hot. And, um, done heating the veggies will be done cutting and the oil will, that I'm gonna pour in there will have heated up already so it's gonna be ready for cooking everything's prepping while you're prepping you know it's not blocking the view is it no That's another thing too. I got a poker tournament to play in tomorrow. It's a big one. And I don't have a car. <laughs> but I'm resilient and I am fortunate enough that I live in this century where people have cars that they rent <laughs> to people. And also there is a service called Lyft and Uber. Either one will get me to where I wanna go. And I will not miss it. So I need y'all support. Please say something positive to me in the comments. So I feel your energy while I'm playing. And um, I will take it with me. I will take your energy with me. If you let me feel it in the comments, I will take it. And use it. And love you for it. When you want to eat because this is like, this is about to be a lot of food and I need somebody to help me eat it. When you trying to cook, when you trying to eat, what you doing today, tomorrow, what's popping? What's popping, what's popping, what's popping, what's popping, what's popping, what's popping, what's popping? Pop eat with the king. <laughs> eat with the king. Okay. Um, oil. I use olive oil on my skin as well. It's real, I mean, just straight up olive oil. It's really good. If y'all didn't know, olive oil for dry skin is phenomenal. I have dry skin sometimes, so like, it's really good. Um, but that oil's, gonna, that oil's gonna heat up. And we're gonna chop this last pepper while we wait for it to do that. This is about to be so bomb. <laughs> so bomb. Let's go.
don't know how I'm so fascinated with that now. said it already i just thought about it but if i didn't say it already i'm totally okay i i uh dinged myself up a little bit in the car accident for any of y'all who were wondering it was a bad accident i'll show pictures of it yeah if you guys want me to um but the car's totally totaled but i'm okay you know a little you know neck pain and stuff but nothing to a warrior you know Nothing to a warrior. Hey. Ooh -wee. Ooh -wee. Do y'all see this? Ooh -wee. a few calories today showing all this stuff. <laughs> so you want to get the oil on everything, on all of the veggies. all over it and now we can apply the seasoning so here we go I got first on the list onion powder onion powder has a certain unique taste that a lot of people a lot of people don't even use onion powder but it's got a great taste and it makes stuff stand out a lot and you want to hold the seasoning Kind of high above the pan, not close, because then it sheets everything. It gets all over the food. Remember, if you're bulk cooking like I am, this is meal prep for multiple meals. You got to use more seasoning. 
get a good visible layer of the seasoning over the food. For any of y'all, you know, who aren't cookers, that may look like a lot of seasoning, but it's not, because there's a lot of food in there. Now, basil. Any green spices are good, oregano, basil, parsley, but you want something earthy with your vegetables, so. Yes, I'm earthy, earthy, earthy. Green vegetables. Oh. I like a little spice, so cayenne pepper. like red rain. Cayenne pepper you don't need as much of as the rest of the stuff. Cayenne pepper is a very strong seasoning. So less seasoning with cayenne than the rest of the seasonings. Um, we have our salt. I always put salt in last because um, Oh, here, I'm gonna use some garlic powder too. Garlic powder. Now the salt, I, I use pure. Either sea salt, Mediterranean salt. This is Mediterranean sea salt. Pure. No added stuff or texture or anything else because a lot of times this stuff is chemical and harmful. Just so you know, my beautiful people, all the man, army, we gotta be strong. So we need an army, we gotta be strong. So I need to let y'all know what's up. Okay, so now I'm really salt bad. <laughs> it all up. If you don't know how to do this, just use a spatula. Totally fine. Now that's cooking, we're gonna put a lid on it, leave it alone. The collard, we're gonna add to this after the veggies have cooked some. Cause collard is lighter, it cooks faster. And we want it to be at least a little al dente, you know, have a little bit of crunch to it and not be soggy, feel me? Lid. It took away the sizzle sound. <laughs> and the collard in a, few, in a few minutes, and our veggie portion is gonna be done. 
my god. Salmon here, already seasoned. I didn't put a salt on it yet because salt closes with the pores. And I want to let this seasoning seek into the meat before I add the salt. Salt lasts always. Remember that. And then I'm going to make some noodles, some pasta. This is going to go in the pasta with the sauce and the salmon on the side. It's going to be phenomenal. It's going to be phenomenal. So there y'all have it. There is how to make a full meal. This, um, uh, maybe I'll show you how to cook another time. I feel like this video has gone on pretty long. And I don't know how long y'all even want the video to be as far as cooking goes. But this, um... It's going to get cooked on slightly over medium heat um, with the lid on it because that retains the moisture. And um, probably for like 15, 20 minutes. I really don't know. I never timed it. But it's going to be delicious until it's crispy. You know, not like burn crispy or anything, but just, you know, kind of well on the, on the seared is the word on the outside. Uh, Dante, enjoy. I hope y'all have a wonderful night. And maybe I'll eat this with y'all. And we can have a wonderful night together. Either way, I love you so much. Thank you so much for being a part of this journey. Thank you for subscribing if you're new here. Thank you. I love you. Um, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. And always remember, you got love in your heart. Nothing else can stop you. Not even a car accident. Love, peace.